Hello students, it's Shayna, your teacher from EspressoEnglish.net, and the phrasal verb of the day is get along. I hope you've been enjoying these daily phrasal verb videos. I know that phrasal verbs can be challenging for English learners, and that's why I created a course called Phrasal Verbs in Conversation which aims to help you learn the phrasal verbs that we use in everyday English in context. If you'd like more information or if you want to see a free sample lesson, then click on the link in this video or in the video description for more information about the course and registration. Let's learn about get along. I'm going to describe a situation and I want you to think about it and decide whether get along means A, have a good relationship, B, help someone, or C, work together. You can post your guess in the comments to this video. So let's imagine that the holidays are coming up and you're talking with your coworker about holiday plans. And you ask her, are you looking forward to the holidays? What are your plans? And she says, mm, I'm not really looking forward to the holidays because my family's getting together and we just don't get along. So the holidays are a stressful time because there's always some drama with my family. And then she asks, how about you? And you say, well, I'm very lucky because all of my relatives get along with each other. And so for us, the holidays are a really fun time where we enjoy each other's company. Based on this example, what does it mean to get along? A, B, or C? Post your answer in the comments and I'll tell you the correct definition in just a moment. The correct meaning for get along is A, to have a good relationship. So in this situation, there was one negative example and one positive example. In your coworker's family, the family members don't get along with each other. That means they have a bad relationship. There tend to be arguments and fights and conflicts and personality clashes. There's just no harmony uh, between the members of your coworker's family. But then in my family, I'm lucky because we all get along. We all have good relationships with each other. And so as a result, the holidays are fun and we enjoy each other's company. So now you know what it means to get along. Get along means have a good relationship. And then the negative form, don't get along or doesn't get along, uh, means to have a bad relationship, which tends to have conflict. One note about this phrasal verb, I used it in the form get along, but you can also say get along with someone. So if you have a sentence where all the people are before the phrasal verb, then you would say only get along. For example, my brother and I get along, or all my relatives get along. But if you want to say somebody's name after the phrasal verb, then you would add with, get along with someone. So I would say, I get along with my brother, or uh, all my relatives get along with each other, or in the negative form, I don't get along with my boss. Okay, so if you want to have someone's name after the phrasal verb, then add with. Got it? I'd like to see if you can use get along in your own English, so post a comment on this video and tell me about someone you get along with or someone who you don't get along with. I look forward to reading your comments. Again, click on the link for more information about the Phrasal Verbs in Conversation course. Thank you for watching today and I hope to see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye!